Hello everyone, this is Tim Wilmot speaking from Wizard Systems. Thanks for joining me today for Goldmine 101. Our regular series of Goldmine presentations and this morning I'm going to focus on email rules in Goldmine, how we can get Goldmine to automatically manage what it does to your incoming and outgoing emails. Now this presentation is about a quarter of an hour or so in duration it's just an overview of this feature. It's not meant to be in-depth training. My company, Wizard Systems, offer many extensive training options and consultancy sessions should you need them. Now on the call today, and um, we've got 25 people on the call today. We have people using all sorts of different versions of Goldmine. I'll be showing you the latest version, but pretty much everything I mention is relevant to all recent releases of Goldmine, certainly in the last uh, decade or so. Now, as you joined this session, you would have been informed, hopefully you heard that the audio part of the presentation is one way only, your microphone is on mute. If you've got any questions, uh, I'd encourage you to think of any questions, uh, certainly relevant to emailing in Goldmine and email rules, please type those into the question box on your meeting control panel and I'll do my best to answer those at the end of the call. So uh, also at the end of the call, at the end of the session, I'll be giving an update on Goldmine product news, keep you in the loop with any information on the Goldmine scene. The session is being recorded as well after the presentation. You should get an email from our system with a link to the recording and we will most likely post it to our YouTube channel as well. Okay, so let's get started. Just a brief mention about my company, Wizard Systems, before we start. I know many of you have dealt with us, know a lot about us, but we are Goldmine specialists. We've been implementing and supporting Goldmine a long time. And we've implemented well over 3,000 systems in that time, mainly in the UK and further afield. And we provide any kind of service around Goldmine, any help or advice you need on Goldmine, upgrades, customization of Goldmine, writing reports for you, integrating with other applications. We also supply about a dozen very popular add-on utilities to Goldmine that extend the functionality of Goldmine further. Um, taking taking the, the, the CRM air into, into, into different uh, fields for you. So uh, please take a look up on our website for more information on those. We also provide extensive training. We can do training at your place. You can come to our place. We can do training online. And we've got a, a Goldmine help desk as well, ready to answer any of your calls. Okay, so let's dive into email rules in a little bit more detail then and I can take you through the basics and the ins and outs of, of, of this uh, feature of Goldmine. So email rules is basically instructions to Goldmine on how it's going to manage incoming emails coming into Goldmine and outgoing emails going out of Goldmine. Typical uses might be uh, automatically deleting email based on some certain condition relevant to the email, maybe automatically forwarding email, incoming email, or redirecting email to a colleague or another email address, um, setting up audible alerts, removing malicious file attachments, uh, and, and many other options are available as well, which you, you'll see when I go, go through some of the screens and setting up the rules, you'll see some of the other uh, capabilities and it will show you some examples of the use of this feature. So, email rules can be accessed from your email center in Goldmine. And if I right click over my account here, I've got a little menu on my right hand mouse button, and I can then access email rules. Now, there are global rules, global email rules in Goldmine, and uh, e email rules are particular to you. The rules are contained within a within a rule set. So what I'm going to do first of all is create a new set. So top left corner there on my toolbar I've got a little button to create uh, a new rule set. And this wizard will take me through now the creation 
of my rule set and one or many rules within that set. So let's give it some kind of a name first of all. As we're on Goldmine 101, I call it Goldmine 101. And there we are, right at the bottom there, you can see first of all, how is this, the, these rules or, or set of rules, wh where are they gonna be applied, to incoming email or outgoing email? So I'll, I think most, most rules will be applied to incoming email rule, but there may be some examples or situations where you might want to apply rules to your outgoing emails as well. So I'll just follow the wizard through. And now I have uh, a condition to create. Um, and I can obviously put in more than one condition if I want to. If I click new here, you'll see some of the examples of what conditions cover. So first of all, I can select from the mail field. So for example, if subject, let's say I'm going to create a rule for handling how I deal with any new leads that come into the company. Maybe the word lead is somewhere in the subject line of the email. So there we are, top um, option there, mail field. I've selected subject. You can see that there's lots of other options for you um, on, where, on where you want Goldmine to, to, to look. So subject, then the actual condition. Again, lots of choices there. I'm going to select contains and the value might be whatever it is you're looking for in this example new lead that's my condition I could I could actually set up additional conditions there if I now click next I'll now be asked for the action so when we have an incoming email coming in to to me as the receiver and it contains, the, the subject line contains new lead. What do I want to, to do with it? What action do I want to take place? Well, these are the options that you've got. Okay, again, quite an extensive range of options. Um, there's forward, redirect, reply, mark it as read, moving it to a particular folder. There's how we handle attachments there, and so on. Quite a lot of extensive uh, rules and down the bottom there the action to delete the email automatically delete the email email I'm going to actually select forward here and we can actually type in an email address or if I've got some colleagues using goldmine I may want to select this option here to pass it over to a goldmine user ID and of course there are my drop down list I can see all of my users and I could select colleague Jane, I might want to send it immediately, click OK, and there we are, we're nearly done. And click finish, job done. Now, you have to make sure that this rule is active, and you as a user, you can only have one rule set active at a time. I've just ticked that little button there, and now this rule set is active. If I click save, it will now automatically be monitoring my incoming emails um, and applying the actions, applying the conditions and the actions uh, relevant to that rule set. So that's a very basic example of these rules, email rules in Goldmine. And as I say, you do have um, two types of rules, your own personal email rules there, but also there's global rules and that's where they are there. Global rules, by the way, can only be set up by a master user. Um, you are able to set up individual rules, but if you are a user on this call, please check with your Goldman administrator. You don't want to be maybe handling email in an inappropriate way. You want to check everything with your Goldman administrator, first of all, and also maybe carry out some little tests if you can, if that's possible. Uh, with those email rules before applying them just to make sure they are uh, carrying out the, the correct actions for you. So, as I normally do in our sessions, uh, we can open it out now to any questions that you may have. Uh, so please locate the question section on your meeting control panel, and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, first question from Stephanie, I think it's Stephanie, how do you set 
out of office notification. Well, you could do that as an incoming email rule in Goldmine. In fact, this is quite a, a very common question we get, um, how to apply an out of office notification, say if you're away from the office or you're on holiday. You could do it in Goldmine, but remember that you have to be logged into, your user account has to be logged into Goldmine and you are receiving those those emails automatically. So there's a couple of things that need to take place there before um, certainly you could have the Goldmine system automatically send an email to the to the sender that um, you are away uh, from from your office. The more normal way might be that you could set it at your email server level because remember emails are coming into your server application or system and then Goldmine is picking them up as an email as an email client. Um, so you could look at it from that angle as well, Stephanie, but certainly you could do that with Goldmine, but you do need to be logged into Goldmine and you need you need to be setting up um, your automatic email retrieval, which is a standard option in Goldmine. Uh, next question from Boyd. Can I set up a rule and apply it to other users? Uh, that well, you probably the best way there, Boyd, is to actually create a global if it relates to more than one user. Probably consider using a global email rule there, um, or individually create it if if your colleagues aren't able to create their own email rules, then create it for them after you test it fully on your own. Okay, I don't think there's any more questions coming through. So I'd just like to bring everyone up to date with any recent news on the Goldmine scene. Uh, we are expecting the latest hotfix of Goldmine out very shortly. Um, the latest release of Goldmine is 2015.2 and then we get these monthly hotfixes. Hotfix 4 We'll have some improvements to the Outlook email link, so um, almost relevant to, to our emailing topic today. And also 2016.1, that's due late May, which will have lots of uh, Goldmine web enhancements, the new way of accessing Goldmine via the web. We've got a Goldmine advanced training course on April the 12th, where we will be covering the email feature in a lot more detail in Goldmine. So uh, please contact us if you, if you want any more information on that. And as I always ask on our session, if you've got any ideas for future sessions like this, anything that um, uh, you've, you've you've inquired about or you're interested in any topic of Goldmine that you think might be of interest to other Goldmine users as well, something that might take up maybe 10 minutes of our time on a weekly basis to, to go through, then I'd be happy to answer those as well. So um, thanks very much for your time today. Uh, if you've got any more uh, questions, uh, please, any late questions that have come in, I'll be happy to answer those via email. Uh, here's my contact details. If you want any more information on Goldmine, Goldmine support, Goldmine upgrades, my name again is Tim Wilmot, and the email address is tim at wizard-system.com. There's our website. Thanks very much for your time today, and have a nice week, and we hopefully hear from you again next week. Thanks very much indeed.